Okay, trainees, now I can't expect you to perform this drill movement with excellence without first being shown how to properly do it. So that's what I'm gonna do for you right now. I'm gonna show you how to properly execute a present arms drill movement when you present arms. Trainees, I want you to understand that I represent everybody in the flight without exception, and I will set the standard performance that I'll need you to emulate. Trainees, I need you to pay particular attention to what my right arm does for this demonstration. Present, hops! Or tap, hops! Trainees, I'll do this for you one more time, this time from a side view. Again, I'll represent everybody in the flight without exception, and I'll set the standard performance that you will need to emulate. Again, trainees, pay particular attention to what my right arm does. Present, hops! Or tap, hops! Now that I went ahead and demonstrated what present arms is going to look like, I talked to you earlier in my introduction about two requirements that we need to have whenever we're doing this drill movement. The first of those requirements being is we need to be halted at the position of attention. The second of the requirements being is it needs to be performed at the cadence of quick time. Also in my introduction, I talked to you about how I would slow this drill movement down and explain it step by step so that each and every one of you can understand it. That's exactly what I'm going to do for you right now. Trainees, you're going to receive the commands of present arms. With present being your mental, your preparatory or thinking command, and arms being the command of execution or go command. When you receive the preparatory command of present, you'll mentally prepare yourselves. When you receive the command of execution, arms, what you will do is you will smartly raise your right hand up the center line and the front of your body, uncupping your hand as it passes the waist. You will extend and join your fingers, placing the thumb along the forefinger. You will keep your palm flat and create a straight line from your fingertips to your elbow. Tilting your palm slightly towards your face, you will place your arm horizontally, slightly forward, and parallel to the ground. You will ensure that your middle finger touches one of the following contact points. Change is going to go ahead and break my stage so I can go ahead and demonstrate this to you with excellence. Training, let me see that patrol cap you have. Now, with a patrol cap, if you are wearing a build cap, with or without glasses, the proper contact point for your middle finger is the front right bill of the cap. Now, trainee, take this. Trainee, hand me those glasses right there. Should be a set of glasses over there. Now, if you're wearing a non-build cap, no cap, without glasses, your proper contact point will be the right corner of your right eyebrow. And finally, trainees, if wearing a non-build cap, no cap, with glasses, the proper contact point will be the front right corner of the eyeglasses. Trainee, go ahead and hand me that uh, campaign hat back and take this set of glasses. Thank you. Okay, trainees. Now, while at this position, the rest of your body remains at the position of attention. You maintain this position until given the command of order arms. Now, when given the command of order arms, order will be your preparatory thinking command and arms will be your command of execution. When given the command of execution arms, you will smartly lower your hand, retracing the same path you used to raise it. You will cup your hand as it passes the waist and place your arm back to your side. Your body is now back at the position of attention. Trainees, that was a lot of information and verbiage that we just went over. Do you have any questions at this point? in the piece of instruction.